Hi, good morning people. This is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. In this new video, I'm going to talk about time difference. Just to make you understand the data, I have written two dates and two times. That is date one, time one, and date two, time two. And I just want to find out the time difference from both the timestamps. The point that you need to note here is both this date and time are written in separate cells. In order to find out the time difference, I can simply subtract time 1 from time 2. I type equal to time 2 minus time 1. Now, I can simply go ahead and subtract these two time because the date is same. It's 4th of February. But if I look at the output, it says 10 a.m. Well, I do not want this to happen because when I said 10 a.m., it does not tell me the time difference but it is telling me the time so in order to rectify this problem I can go to the format cell by pressing control 1 and here I'll remove this am and pm because this is not time this is just a time difference so the difference between time 2 and time 1 is 10 hours like I said earlier I can simply subtract time 1 from time 2 because both the dates are the same. But let's talk about the next scenario where I have different dates. Now first date is 4th of February and the time 1 is 12.32 pm. But the second date is the next day that is 5th of February post 12 midnight that is 2.33 am. Now let's see how do we do this kind of time calculation. People, whenever you want to do any time calculation, it's recommended and in this second scenario, it is required to have both date and time in the same cell. Now the biggest challenge is how do we get the date and time in the same cell? I've seen many people that they do concatenate and they do plenty of stuffs to get the date and time into one cell. But the procedure is extremely simple. You just have to add the date with time and when you press enter you get both date and time in the same cell I'm gonna do the same step in the date and time too so I'm adding date and now I'm adding time so here I have got the date and time both into the same cell now I'll go ahead and calculate the time difference so again here I'll type date and time 2 minus date and time 1 now to my surprise, this is the problem with number formatting and I see that it's 0.584 some numbers. In order to get this into right shape, I'll again have to go to format cell and I'll go to custom and here I will type HH colon MM. That means hours and minutes because I want the difference in hours and minutes when I press OK. Now it tells me the difference between date and time 2 and date and time 1 is 14 hours 1 minute. But let's talk about the time difference between two separate dates where the difference is more than 24 hours. As I mentioned here, the time difference is more than 24 hours. Again, I'll copy the formula by pressing Ctrl D to get date and time into the same cell. And now I'll simply copy the same formula from the above by pressing Ctrl D. And here to my surprise, I again get 14 hours, one minute. But look here, people, the new date that I have selected is 6th of February. So there is a difference of more than 24 hours between both date and time. But Excel, unfortunately, is calculating only difference after 24 hours. The logic that you need to understand is if it is 24 hours, Excel no more considers or calculates the difference in hours. It changes that to a day. So now new difference that we have got is one day, 14 hours and one minute. But that one day is not visible because of the formatting. Again, I'll press control one and here before HH, I'll type DD. And when I press enter, now see here, I've got one day, 14 hours, one minute. But this zero one is quite confusing. I don't understand by looking at that, whether that zero one is a day or any other figure. So I can do it in a better way. 
next to dd i'll put quotes and type day and i'll press enter i'm sorry i did not put the closing quote now see i'll just increase the width of the column now you can see that it says one days and 14 hours one minute but people this is something which i'm not very happy with although it gives me the correct calculation i want to get the total duration in terms of number of hours now let's see how do we do that so once again i go to date and time one i copy the formula by pressing ctrl d here also i'll press ctrl d and here also i'll press ctrl d to just copy whatever it is there above but like i said i'm not happy with that one day logic so i'll go to format cell once again and now let me tell you people that this is called as elapsed hours here in order to get the total duration in elapsed hours remove everything and we'll put this hours in square bracket now you will see that excel is calculating the difference between two date and time in terms of total number of hours so people here is a new video which helps you to calculate the time difference these are the four scenarios which can help you to calculate exact difference so people i hope that you have liked this video i really appreciate your time thank you for watching it take care bye bye